Paul, War Down Engineering, this is your first citizen, well, your first sliding head machine full stop. Why have you gone citizen and why have you gone the L20? We have gone to citizen because they were known to me personally from previous work and they proved by their timings, plans, ability to do the work, they proved that before we bought the machine, which was brilliant for us. It worked perfectly. Okay, so why specifically this machine? So just to clarify, L20 Type 8 yep. with LFB. So L20? It, because it suited our works sizes. Perfect for the jobs that we do currently that fit on tubes. It just was so perfect we couldn't go wrong okay. with that particular size. And there's a number of different varieties of this machine, 8, 10 and 12 from memory. Why have you gone the Type 8? It offered uh, advances with the machine that we could adopt as we built our customer base for this type of machine, do more complex work that we don't currently do. In fact, go into subcontract type work. Okay, now when you say complex work that you don't do at the moment, wall down engineering, what do you specifically do? We do fittings that go on tubular components, so nuts that lock pipes onto parts, fittings that are screwed together on pipe, maybe welded onto the pipe, maybe fitted onto the pipe in another way. Anything to do with tubular components, the fittings that go on them. Anything to do with pipes. So at the moment, how are you manufacturing those components? 90% uh, bought in or they are supplied by the customer that wants them. So it's all sourced from outside to inside the factory. Right, okay. So also, you're doing, are you doing cold pressing and forming as well? All that sort of work. So long as it's to do with tube, yes. Right, I'm going to throw this very briefly at you and I've got to check my list here. So you're doing bending? Yes. End forming? Yes. Now, what is it, that includes flaring, swaging and burnishing? All of those things that are the different types of finishing the end product of the component that we're making. This is your first slider head machine then. And as you said, you've got previous with Citizen. So far the experience, how's that been? It's been absolutely fantastic. They have helped us every step of the way done all the timing plans for us, all the examples of how the machine works, which has been fantastic. The training itself was brilliant. We've gone straight into the machine, no problem. So right from the beginning with Neil Viner salesman? Yes, absolutely, yeah. Install, training? Yeah, perfect. And we feel it's been very good. Okay, I suppose that leads on to, are you going to buy another machine? We are talking about planning to buy another machine, yes, for the next step up in the sizes of work. Right. To make us more competitive in the market as well. Okay, so at the moment, the parts, some of the parts you're making, which unfortunately we can't show on camera, there'd be a machine at the moment. How has that production differed? How has it changed for you guys? It's made us more able to produce in time for as production re requires it, rather than having it on the shelf from a supplier sitting there waiting. That's a big advantage in cost time scales, that sort of thing. And the product is more susceptible to being perfect rather than near perfect we can make sure it's absolutely perfect for us. Right, so previously then, just to confirm, you were, you were buying those products in, now you've got basically complete control. Yes, From, throughout the whole process, which was, previously we didn't have it, we only had control over the manufacturer of the tube, and not the manufacturer of the components that went onto the tube. Right, now also another part of this machine, obviously you know, you've got the bar feed, you've got your seven axes from memory, including index will be, if I'm correct, but you've got the LFB, how has that changed things for you? That has been totally amazing, especially when swarf control became an issue on a particular component. The LFB removed that completely and made the part very, very easy to make. Well, you also intimated off camera that, you know, you knew about swarf control and it was an issue before, but... Because we were using older type CNC standard machines with drilling processes that were known to be poor, um, and when LFE came up and we used it, it was absolutely brilliant. The swarf problems went away, the product was better, and the end result was easier and quicker. Okay, and again, your first sort of fully automated slide net machine with, with a bar feed, your aim is to run 24-7, seven, seven days a week? At least 24-7, if not right. seven days a week without stopping, to make the machine work on its own. Okay, and again, how has that process been in terms of the learning education? Yes, it has been a learning curve. We, are, we started out very dubious about running it overnight and then suddenly we went to well let's try it and it worked perfectly then we went to well can we do more than that so we've now up to maybe getting two days complete running out of it we are aiming as I said to run as long as possible ideally seven days without touching the machine okay now this company has been going 50 years 50 years yeah plus one okay and it's everything to do with tubes essentially it's always been tube always okay. been tube but yeah. now with this you're looking at doing 
subcontract work elsewhere as well? We are looking at that because the, the market is becoming so um, well covered by others that we need to find other things to make money and not just rely on tube. Right. With the new advent of different types of vehicles, different types of transportation around the world, tubes are not quite as important as they used to be, so we've got to diversify. And this is the next generation of diversification. Right, so this gives you a perfect opportunity then. Yeah. Absolutely. So overall I'm getting a vibe. You're happy with this machine? Oh, very, very happy with this machine, yeah. Been impressed by everything we've come across with this machine. Brilliant. I think that sums it up nicely. Thank you very much. Thank you.